Well, damn. Musashi pulled an ultimate sacrifice play a la Romani and Mashu, but much like with Roma, I mean, not much like with Romani because he's back in angel form, but I don't think Musashi's coming back from that. I don't think Musashi's going to come back from that. Well, damn. That's... That's quite something. Pause for a moment. See how... Damn. The ultimate attack. That cuts the void itself. Well. The epicness is still on a high road. How long is this next one? It's only three sections. The day to bring down God. Section 23... I've got less than an hour to go before I have to end the stream and eat dinner, so I'm going to do it. Let's go. Section 23. A no battle node for this first one. No battles for this node. <sighs> that was honestly awesome beyond all awesome. What's going on? What the hell kind of magic bullshit magecraft was that? The hell do you think you're doing raining meteors on me like it's no big no god big goddamn deal? That shit was at least as powerful as Zeus's damn thunderbolts. Of course, this is the same magecraft I used to defeat Zeus, though only the one time. So would you agree this display of might is enough to show that I'm worthy of being your master, Canis? Now, will you are you willing to form a contract with me, your summoner, and rise up against proper human history? Oh, excuse me. Goddamn, guess that bit about him being Zeus wasn't bullshit, after all. Huh, no thanks, I don't take orders from any man. Especially not the kind of man who tries to make me obey by force just because he's stronger than me. You think I'm strong? Me. I'm not. I'm a weak, fragile human. Even this victory only came at a great personal cost. I only managed to win by using every trick at my disposal. You would easily beat me if we were to fight again now. Like hell I would. That bastard hasn't even worked with a single goddamn bead of sweat. I'm not trying to compel you. What I seek is a mutually beneficial relationship. You're just the heroic spirit I need. I want your help. I'm sure you'll find my plan to be your liking. In fact, I'd even say, in one sense, you'll find it irresistible. You see, while I have truthfully declared my goal is to end the world of humans and build a world of gods. No, on second thought, I'll go ahead and tell you everything. Just between you and me. I gotta say, Canis looks better in that outfit. And that is the true nature of my plan. Now do you see what I mean? What? What the hell are you thinking? Why would you tell me that? The hell am I supposed to do now that you've basically told me you mean to betray Olympus? But besides, shouldn't you be telling secrets like that to someone more obedient like the Dioscuri? You still don't understand. I told you this precisely because I knew I could trust you. M me? Of course you can't trust me. You know how I said I don't take orders from any man. Well, I was lying. It's not just any man. I don't take orders from anyone. Human, man, woman, or god. You know why I ended up in this body, right? Because I'm a killer who hates everyone. Gods and human alike. Yes, I know. You hated the gods for their flaws and tyranny. And humans for being, what, weak. Yourself included. But even though you were so enraged and despondent as to rend your own body, you still chose to survive instead of taking your life. Ultimately, you asked the sea god who wounded you and, hate, and whom you hated more than anyone for indemnification and were turned into a divine spirit. You didn't do it be to become a god like Poseidon. You did so to ensure you would never lose all hope for yourself again. Don't talk about me like you know me. Try it again and I'll put my spear through you even if it's the last thing I do before one of your meteors crushes me. Yes, I'm aware of the potential consequences if I misspeak. But there's no need to worry about meteors. Didn't I already tell you you'd win next time? Here, see for yourself. What the hell are you doing taking off your gloves and cloaking for? What do you think? The hell, why are your hands so wrinkly? They've been like that ever since I was brought back to life. You're the first person I've ever revealed this to. Is Prishtaria dying? I've forgotten how good it feels to dress lightly. 
To tell the truth, I've always hated wearing cloaks. Oh, now I can help but what to keep going. I think, I think I'll take off my shirt, too. Okay, Kerstaria! Okay, man. Okay. Now what are you talking about? First you bring up Poseidon, and then you start taking your clothes off right on this beach. Not even Zeus would insult me this... Damn, you look terrible? Thank you for your honesty. It's refreshing to hear the truth spoken so plainly. You could give Prometheus a good run for his running, at least in terms of sheer emaciation. Of course, I expect there's probably a more fitting example in your fancy religion. So what about that scar on your chest? How come that one isn't healed? Kristaria's emaciated and scarred. Oh, this, this happened back in my hometown before I came to Chaldea. It was a curse designed to damage my magical circuits directly. My father inflicted it on me when I was a child. Afterwards, I was shut away in a basement for several days. That's how I got this. Shut away, huh? That's a real gentle way of putting it. So Kersharia was abused. That's the only way I can put it. Anyway, to make a long story short, I made it out of that basement, made my father retire, and successfully assumed the leadership of my family. That was the point when my objective became clear. I swore then and there that I would find a way to overcome betrayal, oppression, discrimination, prejudice, fear, jealousy, anger, anxiety, all the human weaknesses and defects that call the cast of Paul over our lives and minds. Canis, your summoning was no accident, nor was a compromise. You are indeed my first and only choice. As far as I'm concerned, you are the first one to show it could be done. I haven't told anyone else my true objective. Not Zeus, and not Dioscuri. No, that that was a different point. That was an assassination attempt. That, I mean, unless they just didn't spring for a Kerstaria child sprite, I guess. Which is a possibility. I came to you because I believe you're the one who can, will understand how I feel, and why I made the oath that I did. So how about it, Canis? I have enough power to shock you to your core, but my body is not literally as tough as yours. I may be overwhelmingly strong, but not so much as to make an opposing side give up in despair. Am I correct that makes this particularly enticing offer to someone as annoying, <clears throat> hard to please as you? You were just going to call me annoying, weren't you? That's a good Canis face there. That's a funny little Canis face. Perish the thought. All right, all right. I got it. Now hurry up and put your clothes back on before my bloodlust starts to fade. He was 50. Oh. Hmm. He didn't say that in that statement. By the way, I would like to make one thing clear. I'm, of course, not an exhibitionist. Oh. Oh, Kerstaria. I'll never forgive the gods of proper human history. The gods of this lost belt can piss right off, too. Same goes for humans. Don't give a shit what side they're on. They're still all just a bunch of hairless apes. That being said, you'd have to be out of your goddamn mind to come up with a plan that crazy. I love it. All right, Kersharia, you win. I'll play along with this scheme of yours. I'm going to be using you for my own ends, so it's only fair you go ahead and do the same. <laughs> so you're going to protect Olympus and bring back the Age of Gods, huh? <laughs> Talk about a careful choice of words. This has got to be the cruelest scam ever. That bastard Zeus has no idea who he's hemmed up with. Kershari has some humor in him. I will say, Kershari definitely has some humor in him. This is the Storm Border. I expect you probably know what happens with Nai now, but just to be sure. We succeeded at severing Chaos's connection to this space-time. I can confirm that, as of this moment, they have been permanently sealed away. However, the Storm Border sustains significant damage over its long voyage, and we're currently far, of course, from the Great Shrine. It'll be about an hour until we've repaired the ship and can return to your present altitude. Soul Mash, Sherlock Holmes... The Tree of Emptiness has begun to make its way down to go round towards Olympus. Divinji thinks it's trying to make contact with the Earth's surface. One thing's clear right now. The tree's internal magical energy is continuing to rise and it shows no sign of stopping. There's no time to wait for us to come back to you. Come back you up. I'd like you to go ahead with the operation to cut down the Tree of Emptiness immediately. I should also tell you that the signal from the servant who handled the chaos situation has been lost. And a record in the Chaldea Spirit Origin graph stored on the ship now only says, Data Lost. That's all I have for you right now. Good luck. She's data lost now. Okay. Musashi. Data lost, hmm? That's every last Olympian machine god dead, so what gives? Do these idiots not understand that means our truce is over and we're enemies again now? So that mean we can't summon Musashi anymore? That'd be a massive douche move to lock Musashi down if you summoned her. They're also wide open, it's ridiculous. Damn it, there's no reason to not sneak attack them right now. Alright, guess I'm doing this. 
Canis, don't be so quick to sully your honor for the sake of your master. There are many different masters as there are people. As there are not, are there not? Would well, yours himself, a man of honor, be happy with you ending things in this manner? Hmm. So you're as considerate of you, as you are insightful, Mr. Holy Progenitor. Don't worry. I'm not going to do it. They all just look so pitiful that I couldn't help but think about it for a moment. Remember our agreement? I said I'd only help you a lot until we take down Zeus. Now that that's done, that I'm going to go back to my boss. With Zeus dead and Chaos gone, he's all set to swoop in and take everything for himself. Hell, I bet he's hanging out in front of the Tree of Emptiness looking all smug even as we speak. That's right, you're still cursed, are you? Yeah, that's right. I'm that pretentious show-off servant. Always have been, always will be. Still, I'll say this for the bastard. He's worth it. And I'll tell you this too, Soul and Mash. He's worth fighting, and fighting as hard as you can. I might be a misanthropic killer, but that much I can say for damn certain. I'll fight him as hard as I fucking can, then. Canis, how do we reach the, how do we reach the Tree of Emptiness' roots? Well, you need me to tell you that? Isn't it obvious? See that palace off to the side from the Cronus Crown? At least right to the tree's roots. Of course, it's losing altitude along with the tree now, so you'll have to go up to the machine corridor first. From there, just keep headed up. You'll have to be complete idiots to miss it. Let me give you one last word of warning. This goes for you too, twins. Us. If you don't want to die... No, wait, that's not right, is it? If you want to stay alive as long as possible, then get out of Dodona and back home while you can. I'm going to kill the Chaldeans one way or another. They got no choice but to fight, but you two. We're not going anywhere. We swore to put an end to this world, and that's just what we're going to do. That's so. Alright, got it. If it's death you want, I'll be glad to give it to you. And while I'm at it, I'll show you what a real master is like, too. Hmm. Got anything to say in response, soul? Let's do this. It's time to get down to business and defeat Kushtaria. Right, that's the most crucial mission we've been trusted with. There goes Quirinus. Quirinus. Well done. It seems there's nothing left for us to say. Holy progenitor Romulus, is it just me or is your body glowing even more brightly than before? It's not that, Yoruba. It's his spirit origin dispersing. That means his manifestation is almost over. What happened, Holy progenitor Romulus? Forgive us. Unfortunately, we will not be able to join you for your battle against the mage you grew at Atlas. The opponent mean you must defeat at all costs. Though either may have summoned us here... We retain a grand class spirit origin. And the only time a heroic spirit with a grand status appears is when the final showdown is close at hand. And while owing to this loss of own peculiarities, two grand servants were summoned here. We made the same choice the other did, to protect the world rather than eradicate our enemy. Escorting the storm border to the void spent the last of our magical energy. Soon, our spirit origin will vanish. Whatever battles are yet to come, you will now need to fight them alone. We hope you can forgive us. Thanks for helping us get there, man. We got this, though. We'll see. Well, then we leave the rest in your hands, O Mage of Modernity. If the, in the battle to come, you should encounter a foe that threatens to shatter your very soul, look to the sky. Emptiness, or to think of another way, space with, space with which to dream, is all within the grasp for all who to reach it. Even that which lacks form can serve as fuel for the heart. Furthermore, emptiness belongs not to the gods, but to humans. Do not be afraid to reach out and to take it. Do that, and your hands will reach even the terrible heavens as surely as ours. Bye-bye. Yeah, Musashi was a G. Musashi was awesome. It's a shame that she's gone now, but... No, that shaking was the flowing shrine starting to move. Now that Zeus is gone, Olympia Dodona has begun to lose power. We'd best be on our way, Mr. Soul. It appears we don't have much time left. She, I mean, she was always kind of an interesting one. She was always an interesting one. And now, she's gone. I can't even see the other segments anymore. That's interesting. Lancer. Formation restricted until... Musashi is gone. Forever now. I hope that we... I hope that just does... I hope... I don't even know if she has any further summoning banners. That would be quite the kicker if she doesn't have any more banners to summon. There. I made it to the ground safely. No hostilities detected in our vicinity. Go ahead and jump down, Master. It's okay. I'll catch you.
You okay, Sol? I can't believe you need help getting down from a little ledge like that. I guess people from proper human history are even more fragile than I thought. Stop that, Macarius. You know he doesn't have the same protections we do. I do, yeah. Sorry, Sol. I'll be more careful from now on. Nice catch, Mashu. Thank you, Master. I'm just glad I could help. Oh, please get back in there, foe. We're almost certainly going to be fighting another battle soon. All the many defensive mechanisms that were in place have shut down. The quakes will soon become more frequent as well. So it would seem. I can no longer sense Lord Zeus's light from within the Kronos Crown. The Kronos Crown now controls the Crystal Mountains. And their massive, massive en magical energy supply gave Lord Zeus the power to wield many different kinds of authority. So the fact that it shut down must mean... It's only a matter of time until this shrine falls to the ground. Then we'd better hurry. We just need to keep headed up from here, right? Yes, there's a small purification temple inside the palace. We should have a path that leads to the Tree of Emptiness. Foo -foo! So Canis is up. We're in the meeting hall. A tablet that differs a table that differs significantly from Olympian design. Seven chairs, a modern day magical circuit in this room. It seems most likely this is the Cryptor's meeting room. I expect this is where Kirstari and the other Cryptors. Hmm? Attention, my fellow characters. Evacuating to Olympus de Dona. If you're hearing this, Zeus has fallen to Chaldea, and the Tree of Emptiness will now belong solely to me. The moment is at hand. The Tree of Emptiness stored magical energy has reached a critical point. Now that my Tree of Emptiness atlas is about to fully bloom, our contest to grow our Lost Belt and determine the next course of human history is over, and I've won. I only hope that you're all still alive to hear this. I'm sure you have many thoughts, but I hope you can accept the new world that will soon be upon us. Farewell. That was Kristaria. Then that corridor must be the one that leads to the Tree of Emptiness. Huh? Master, that woman we saw in the Russian Lost Belt is sitting in front of the corridor. What are you talking about, Mash? There's no one in the corridor. Macarius is right. There's no magical energy there either. Are you okay? Are you sure not just exhausted? But I can see it. You're here, right? Plain as day. The instruments in Russia couldn't observe her either, so... Perhaps she wishes to tell us something, or perhaps she's some kind of random phenomenon. Regardless, we have no time to deal with her now. As it seems, she will not be getting in our way. It's best if we move on ignore her. Let's go, Mashu. I know you're right, but she does. T she seems like she wants to tell us something. Forget about the invisible girl and come on. We're almost to the end of this. What you're scared of at this point? This guy completely kicked your asses in Atlantis, right? Don't you want to return the favor this time? You're right. Now it's time to focus down Kristaria. Right. Well said, Master. I'm so sorry. I wish I knew what it was you wanted to tell us. Next time, I'll make sure to hear what you have to say, but right now I have to go. Whee! Hmm, you know, even I can never tell what it is you're thinking. Tell me, Priestess, did you want to stop them, or did you want to kill them here and now? I see. It goes without saying, does it? That as I suspected, you simply don't care one way or the other. Understood. In that case, I won't interfere with her battle either. Perhaps Kirstari is in human res... Re Solution and unshakable willpower will prevail. Perhaps it will be the daring and unpredictable Chaldeans who carry the fate of humanity on their shoulders. Or perhaps our luck will prevail over them both, even after making enemies of everyone. Regardless of what happens as a lone priest, I will simply watch and see what form the foreign god's own truth will take. So Canis first. Oh gosh, I've only got half an hour to beat down Canis and Kirstaria. This is going to be hard. Biggest tree of emptiness on the planet. That's strange. I'm not getting any response from Shiva. I'm not seeing anything in the way of confirmed future attack patterns from with future prediction either. Looks like it doesn't have any hostile intent whatsoever. What does this mean? The tree of emptiness doesn't possess any means of attacking enemies, or perhaps it has no need for them. So this is the tree of emptiness atlas. Even I have never seen it this close before. It really does look like there's a galaxy inside an empty tree. I mean, I could see that from the ground before too, but yeah, seeing it close up. Up close is somehow overwhelming. I mean, it's definitely beautiful, but... But more than that, it's terrifying, to get. I feel the same way, Adela and Macarius. Hello, Caldean Remnants and Olympian Traders. As a representative of both worlds. Allow me to welcome you to the Tree of Emptiness, Atlas. Limbo. Right you are. It is I, the very Limbo you defeated only a short while ago. Surprised? Shocked. No need to say anything, I can tell exactly how you feel. You're positively a quiver with astonishment, yes. But as you can see, I am indeed immortal. No matter what manner of harm is 
is, vid is visited upon me, I will always bounce back as surely as turning a page. I never gave you permission to speak, Limbo. Be warned that I'm not as lenient as Zeus. Now be quiet, or you'll find yourselves burning to cinders like the page with which you've likened yourself to. What was that? A mere cryptor daring to tell me what to do. You mean you still haven't noticed? Unbelievable. You do understand that you're very Shikigami, Limbo left here. You do understand that you're the very... You're the Shikigami. Limbo left here to keep an eye on the tree of emptiness, yes? Well, the third time you do the real Limbo has been cut. You're now Limbo's last remaining clone. Mm, impossible. I'm afraid you must be mistaken. Only let Omiyoju could hope to ever hope to sever my spells. What? It has been severed? How? What could have possibly happened? This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. What a horrible joke. I cannot believe I only died one more time. Very well, if you'll excuse me, Kershtari Wudame, I believe I shall leave this in your hands. I'm going to wait over there by the tree of emptiness and watch you kill all one, all kill one another from far. I'm like a rat. Good grief, incorrigible to the end. First off, let me congratulate you for prevailing against Zeus. I was sure your chances were almost non-existent. I'm impressed you managed to defeat him without losing a single member of your team. Oh, Limbo, yes, very much so. Did you just say without losing anyone? Oh, was I mistaken? Let me see. There's you, Sol, Mash, Carlette, Queen Europa, Sherlock Holmes. Was there another who deserved to be counted among the ranks of proper human history? If it is all the same to you, I would appreciate if you keep the provocations to a minimum. Much as I would like to speak with you at length, we simply, have, we simply haven't the time. That tree of emptiness is behind you is the very precarious state, and we're not about to let all our hard work thus far be for nothing. We will be cutting it down as soon as possible, whether you like it or not. A most practical decision... But I'm afraid you're a bit too late. My tree of emptiness is already complete. Before it was simply waiting to fully bloom. Now it's using its, over its half of its power to protect itself. Once a tree of emptiness's bark reaches that point, it's no longer possible to interfere with it externally. The only ones who can make the tree die are Zeus, who is connected to it directly. And myself, since I possess the right to use it as I see fit. And that means... We have to beat you. Yes, that's right. Kershari Wodame, if that's what you say is true, then all you had to do was stay out of sight and wait. But instead you chose to show yourself and confront Master Soul directly. And that must mean you're prepared, aren't you? I am. If you aren't able to defeat me, I'm prepared to hand over the Tree of Emptiness. Oh, you never wore an expression so fierce as the one I see on you now, Mash. You too, Soul. I'm glad I'm finally getting to see your true selves. I knew you two weren't fighting me with all your heart back, with all you had back in Atlantis. Or at least, what I saw of you there didn't quite fit what I'd heard about you before. I was told you two never give up, no matter how powerful your opponent is, that you swallow your despair and rise up to meet any challenge. I was also told that you acknowledge your fears, remember to search for answers, hold on to hope, and never doubt who you are. That you are a master who faced impossible odds and fought them all while carrying the future of humanity on your shoulders. Ah, this is so exciting. At last you're finally as I imagined. Now you look just like David described. Now you are indeed the greatest enemy I could hope to face. Yeah, we got a lot to say after we beat beaten you. We're going to do anime style here, Kristara. You and me, mano a mano, let our fists do the talking. And we'll become friends by the end of it. That's anime style, right? Fofo! Well, when did you learn to talk like tough like that, Soul? True, I never thought I'd hear you say anything like that either. Yet strangely enough, it also sounded just like something you would say. Indeed, Mr. Soul does seem to be back to his old self, as he used to be at Caldea. Right now, it's clear he's not consumed with sympathy for this lost belt, nor preoccupied with the mystery of the foreign god. His only focus right now is on the powerful enemy before him. Now I see, so this is what you wanted, Kirstaria. A battle to determine the greatest master, and a way to entrust what rem what's come with Soul without putting himself in his debt. Wonderful. That's a bit of a maniacal expression. That's just what I was hoping for, Master of Caldea. Though you are never one of us. Don't worry, I'm not going to pull a Nakoda. I'm simply going to obliterate you here and now. The enemy master has assumed a combat stance, master. Let's show him what we're made of, then. Come on, Canis. Let's begin. This will be the last battle to ever be fought between humans. Okay. So, Canis is our opponent here, it looks like. First, we are restricted to Holmes. Mash has to be in the start. Lancer class. Okay. So then, if we're doing this, we are going to do this. <laughs> really likes pools in Akuda. Yeah. Poor Akuda. Okay, so, Lancer class enemy. We need a Saber. 
So I kind of figured I would be facing off against Canis one way or the another somewhere down the line. And I really had three options with which to go for here. I kind of was expecting to face her with Kershari, but Solo actually makes it a little bit better. My options were MHXA, who is just a bonkers Berserker weapon. Not anti-saber is going to help here, but still very strong and probably one of, if not the strongest unit I have in Caldea. At least if you count what um, her anti-saber nature is. The other option was Okita. Saber, single target, quick NP. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the necessary sustain to go with this. So in the end, I've decided I'm going to bring in Sigurd for this fight. Sigurd will be being outfitted with Golden Sumo for a sustain. And it does look like we are going to have to bring in the battle uniform so we don't rely on MASH from the start. So, this is going to be our formation going forwards. Uh, let's check to make sure... No, Herc will be... Oh, no, never mind. Not Herc. Not Herc. I guess, Solari, you're getting more bond points than Herc right now. So here we go. Canis awaits. That was a very nice neck pop. Fatal Battle. Canis has three bars. That's gonna be rough. Bequeath the, beneath the golden pride of that soul. Okay. Son of a bitch. He just gave her a third break bar. Four bars for Canis. Mm, okay, that, that makes things a lot more difficult. <clears throat> also, I noticed that her Aegis is now true. I'm betting if push comes to shove, Mashu will be able to handle this, but for now, I'm going with my strategy. Sigurd. Get ready for battle. So, do I have any star gen? No. Well, I do, but... I meant star instinct skills. Okay. Can I push through this first bar right here, right now? I don't know. I'm going to certainly try, though, without NP. Uh, I can probably get away with not using that. We'll try the stun here, just to be safe. Good stun. And go, Sigurd, go. How hard are we going to smack? Pretty decently hard. Sadly, it is not enough to break. It is sadly not enough to break, but we will break with this one. Um, like this. Good crit. Sigurd has his NP ready for this next bar. Come on, come on, let's keep going. And a bonus with attacks. Oh, she's, gaining, she's giving herself attack buffs with every single attack. That's... That's... Oh, it's a permanent thing. Shit. That's not good. At all. Uh, yeah. Dragon modification. I'm hoping there's going to be some sort of cleanse here. Please. Because this could be a very, very dangerous battle if she just keeps getting stronger and stronger with her hits. Good job, Sigurd. Good job. Down two bars. It's nothing. Do not underestimate Canis, the Divine Spirit. What the fuck, Kerstaria? What the fuck? Why do you... Kerstaria? What does he have against me? Okay, um, hmm. Uh, we need to save that invincibility for next turn, so Merlin, please survive. So that's what... So, 
she had four bars, including the base that's five. She's a six bar enemy. Good gracious. And she's going to start rinsing us, because she is very high now. She's got a lot of attack buffs now. They're going to start going down, but still, that's a lot of attack buffs. I do not like that at all. Um, Get the invincibility. To survive this NP. You enjoy this fight. This fight feels like it's going to be a bitch to... I... I don't even think there would be a way to, what? Six turn this? Yeah, there's like not enough consistency in any servants to six turn this fight, I feel. If there is a six turn of this, I would love to see that video, though. So if anybody can link me to a 6 turn of this fight, I will be very, very happy to witness that. Um. One more turn, and then Merlin's good. I'm trying to think. How do I want this to go? Primary Rune is fine. I need Mash to do some tanking here. Because if Merlin stays alive to next turn, then we have his Buster buff. Okay. This will get us a, um... I'm gonna save that. Mashi still has the highest defense, so we can do this. And then... This will guarantee us a 200% Mashu NP here. As well as some damage and a Sigurd NP. Sitonai or Archtoria can 6 turn it. If you can find a video, I would love to see it, Mordred. Honestly, I would love to see a video of this being six turned. Oh, that's the crits I was hoping to see. Alright, what are we now? Damn, what the hell are you guys? Chance for Invincible, son of a bitch. What is that chance for Invincible? Ignore sure hit and chance to reduce damage taken to zero. Son of a Wait, is your please. No, I thought he had a I thought he had Pierce Invincibility on him. Mm. This is gonna be a big risk, but I gotta do it. Big risk doing it, but I have to. I need to get through this bar. Please do it, Sigurd. You can do it, I believe. Damn it! That's three through, though. We're through three of them, so that's good. Three down. Oh no, it's five! It's four! It was five turns! I thought it was five uses! Mmm... That... That makes things a lot worse. Mashu needs to NP here, otherwise... We're gonna take some heavy losses. Lovely crit there, 20k. Very nice. We're about to suffer some hits here. Fuck. 
Uh, so Merlin's gone. That much is certain. Mashu has her guts. Sigurd... I don't know if Sigurd's gonna survive or not. Sigurd might not survive this. He does have class advantage. Oh, that was a glorious hit there, Sigurd. Oh, man, Sigurd. Oh, Sigurd, you, you glorious bastard, Sigurd. You glorious bastard. Please, live. Fuck. Oh, that busted through Mash's guts. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I'm screwed. I think I might be screwed here. Because I don't have... I don't know if I can salt... I don't know how effective these two are in the composition. Together. That would have been good to have a few turns. Yeah, last turn. Um, okay. I need to think through their skills carefully. We got our defenses down. We're going to break this bar. We should break this bar this turn. So the evasion will be useful. Soleri, if she gains full charge from this, then I'm sorry, Soleri. I truly, truly am. But I need to do this. I need to hope that... Oh god, I forgot she still has your invincibility shit. Oh, I'm not breaking her this turn. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Shit. Holmes, what does your thing do? Ignore Invincible. That's... Mm. I gotta skill seal. I gotta seal her NP. Oh, of course I don't do it. Damn it. So I need to NP with Holmes. That's obvious. Holmes needs an NP. But then what is the order of attack? NP is gonna eat up one of the attacks. Defense down is gonna be good. I need to go with the highest. I need to go this, this, this. Break this bar, and I guess I'm going to have to use the Quartz Revive, probably. Shit. I don't... I literally don't think there's any better way I could do this. I guess having Holmes in from the start for that Ignore Invincibility might have been useful. It certainly would have probably wiped this bar if I had Holmes out. So I guess... I'm, it's too late to reset. You motherfuckers. I just had to... I just had to get down to the last HP bar. I just had to get down to the last HP bar. I was worried out the Canis fight where I was down to Holmes only and I just broke the last bar and I was expecting to have to use a fucking Quartz Revive, but it turns out I just needed to get down to the last bar. Okay. Last section of section 23, the day to bring down gods. Form immediately before the battle begins. This is likely Kershtaria. This is fate. I'm committing genocide against a whole populace I can curse. Damn, these guys just won't let the hell up. What a pain in the ass. The hell's going on here? Come on, Kershtaria. What are you holding back for? Do the thing already. Hmm? What thing? Do you mean what I showed you that on that beach back at the... Not that dumb. It's those meteors you love to throw around. I never got to see them in Atlantis, and I want to kick back and enjoy the show for the winning side for once. Ah, uh, you mean my meteor raid? Naturally, I'm not going to hold anything back. However, 
It would seem like it's time. Excuse me, soul, but would you mind pausing for just a few seconds? Hmm? Master of the Tree of Emptiness, your magical energy is spiking rapidly. Get back, it's not safe. Yes, I thought that fucker was a six bar fight, man. Oh. That's... Is that not the title screen? That's the title screen, isn't it? Something's coming down from the sky. Could this be the foreign god's advent? Though right now I must admit I'm more concerned with that sky. It's neither the night sky nor outer space. It's not even the same cross-dimensional space where chaos resided. Even I can't make heads or tails of it. What is that? Did the tree of emptiness's insides just appear? No, wait. I can see something inside. Is that a giant? It looks humanoid. Mm -hmm. Indeed, that is the body of our god. That it's the glorious form of our glorious god is the very reason we disciples were summoned. Excellent work, Kristaria. Excellent. I'm impressive. It's. I'm impressed to see a mere human accomplish this. Well done. I admit I have my suspicions that your little tip with Chaldea might be violating your contract with the foreign god. But as they say, all's well that ends well. And indeed, with this, humanity has fully and reached, finally reached its end. Now no one can stop the advent of God. The foreign god cannot take physical form on this planet. Thus, when the tree of emptiness grows to its completion and its hollow is fully filled, the foreign god will descend to Earth using the tree as their vessel. It's just like what you did with Grand Summon Article Aether. It's over. Game, set, match. I'll stop you now, Kershtaria. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think so, Soul. You put up a good fight, but you're simply far too late and far too powerless. You know, since this is all so incredibly thrilling, I think I'll go ahead and deal with you myself so that Lord Kershtari no need no longer. However, there is no place for the foreign god here. Look closer, Limbo. See for yourself exactly what's inside the Tree of Emptiness, what is offered to it. Betrayal from Kershtaria! What are you talking about? That form inside the Tree of Emptiness is clearly the body of... Of what? What is this sickening divinity? How can there already be another god inside? Who is this loathsome squatter? Who is the other god? Who the hell do you think? You forgetting all the times Kershtari mentioned his name? The tree of Emptiness' name ain't Magellan. It's Atlas. Atlas is inside the tree. Then, then, you mean you summoned a divine spirit inside of the tree? Atlas. Who is this Atlas? In Greek mythology, Atlas is the name of the titan who literally carried the world on its shoulders. So, so... Except... So, you brought him here ahead of time, Kershtari, yeah? Yes, I did. I actually summoned three servants in total. Canis, a divine spirit from proper human history, the Dio Scurry from the Sloth Belt, and Atlas, the giant who served as the foundation of the Greek world in proper human history. After coming to a mutual understanding, he agreed to aid me in my plan. A plan to build a new age of gods in this world rather than hand it over to the foreign god. Hey, Draconic, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. We're the thrilling conclusion of the final chapter I'm doing tonight, chapter 23. We're about to fight Kersharia, but he just revealed he's Uno reversing this plan against the foreign god. He already has a god inside the tree. How dare you, this is a clear breach of, breach of contract. Not at all, I've obeyed every instruction the foreign god gave me. Our agreement was that I grow my tree of emptiness to completion, and we never agreed on what was going to fill it. Despite its name, I didn't feel right having it sit there, so I took the liberty of preparing a resident for it ahead of time. Atlas. Oh, that looks awesome. The halos are glowing red. You mean its communications have cut off? This is a disaster. The foreign god will never be able to descend like this. What is the meaning of this, Kershtaria? What am I? How dare you disobey the foreign god? Obedience was not what I offered the foreign god to begin with. We merely made a deal as equals. I've never stopped believing in the future, the possibilities of humanity. My own body may no longer be fit with proper human history thanks to the foreign gods resurrecting me. But I never attempted to overthrow humanity for the foreign god's sake. I moved away from proper human history so I could expel them. Suffice to say, Limbo, I've always despised you and always... And the way you take twisted pleasure and destruction. How dare you speak to me like that, you wretched traitor! Not so fast, idiot. You want to get to Cursed Star, you're going to have to go through me first. Impudent false divine spirit, this is a new low even for a bright prayer servant like yourself. April Fool's involving Yu-Gi-Oh, that'll be an interesting see. You think I hardly gave you a second thought there, Limbo? You wasted so much energy mocking everyone you could do you could that I knew you were gonna end up the biggest laughing stock of all. Oh 
man, oh man. So does this mean the foreign god isn't coming to come here? Is going to come here then? Correct. There is already another god occupying the one place they could manifest. So the foreign god will never appear here as long as Atlas is around. Then does this mean Karsharia did all this to protect Earth from the foreign god? If only it were that simple, but it isn't, is it Karsharia? At long last, I'm finally beginning to see exactly what it is you pose a great threat to. Yeah, I really don't use Twitter that much. Right you are, Sage of Chaldea. Your insight and observational skills are remarkable, all the more so considering that Zeus interfered with your mind. I have no desire for the foreign god to rule Earth, but I also refuse to submit to proper human history. But you just said you were gonna... You were going to go against the foreign god. That everything you've done was to help humanity's future. You know humanity's future, humans. I have no wish to protect proper human history, nor do I think that human history thus far has taken an optimal path. In that regard, it makes no difference whether I or the foreign god use the Tree of Emptiness Smash. I simply cannot bring myself to choose a feature for proper human history. You of Chaldea are the only ones who can do that. So what's his goal then? What does he intend to do? Is this the calm before the Great Flood? The kind of the kind that once drowned the world of proper human history? No, that can't be right. This will still no doubt destroy the world, but it's so very warm. What are you after, Karshtaria? Tell us. The rebirth of humanity, of course. The bell of revolution has been rung. Atlas will use the magical energy stored in the Tree of Emptiness to create new laws, new textures, and spread them across the world. As for myself, I will make my declaration. Human wisdom has met its defeat. Human power alone simply is incapable of progressing progressing beyond this point. Humans are fundamentally incapable of making the right choice. I, of course, am no exception. No matter how many times we deliberate, fight, and so on and so forth, our history will never become what it should. Why? It should be obvious. Humans are hopelessly limited by our lifespans. We are weak, exceedingly so, not as individuals, but as a species. Only those with certain privileged environments are capable of love and acceptance and respect. At its heart, human intelligence is built on taking from others, on selfishness. There is no utopia to be found down that path. Worlds such as that will always produce innocent victims. The hell that was proper human history proves as much beyond a shadow of a doubt. But that doesn't mean we can give up. For something this important, there's no room for compromise or backpedaling. What I'm after is simple. If utopia is beyond current human reach, then I'll revolutionize what it means to be human. If human species is weak, then I'll make it stronger. He's gonna. F is he talking forced evolution of all humanity? That's right, every human on this planet is about to be reborn. They will leave their weak human forms in favor of superior bodies, heightened senses, and marvelous potential. I will have them become something greater than human. A new life form that even surpasses the machine gods. He's taking Amakusa's plan and going a step beyond. Naturally goes for all of you as well. This is my plan, a new age of gods. Once everyone is like unto God themselves, there will be no more inequality. He wants to make hum all humans into gods. Okay. Every last person will have their power and their responsibility to influence the world. And one day, should all these new gods be willing, they will give birth to a new intelligence who can and will lead history to a much better place. That is my conclusion, my own Operation God Destroyer. As of today, humanity will erase the very concept of gods. So sort of a syndrome there as well. Does that mean young man will realize what he's saying? Or why is this ship only picking up audio? Get Kirstari up on the screen already, damn it. I can't believe this is so god- can't believe the god unfearing delusions that so not so sweet summer, summer child spouting. How dare he to try to make all of humanity into gods? We can't let him get away with such a dastardly. Wait, did he say gods? Not monsters or spare parts for some nightmare ritual? No, no, that can't possibly be right. There's simply no way he could do that. That's the whole trouble with kids these days. They think they can attract all the votes they need just by dangling an impossible manifesto in front of. I don't think he's exaggerating, Director. It looks like he's telling the unvarnished truth. All the Stormboarders' instruments support what Kirstari is saying. Right now, the Tree of Emptiness Atlas is spreading the fit, true fifth element, true ether, across the world. In fact, even as we speak, it's refining your soul's spiritual format. It's great, in other words. And not just for you, it's doing the same for Soul, Mash, and all the border staff, too. If this keeps up, even as you retain your humanity, you guys will really turn into beings that will eventually have the same capabilities as heroic spirits. Or to measure you on humanity skill, you'll end up being on the same level as gods. We're already being stronger! Thank you, Cursed Arya! Oh, come now, surely you jest. Is Kershari... Is he a bad guy? Master, your magical energy... Your magical circuits are improving both in mass and quality. No, wait, it's not just you. It's happening to me, Macarius, and Adele, too. Unfortunately, Mr. Wudame, that plan is pure fantasy. 
You think making everyone into superior godlike beings will usher in a new world? Even if you succeed at giving people everything they need, whether it will be a sense of fulfillment, long and healthy lives, or physical abilities that eliminate the necessity for competition, so long as people retain their intelligence, there will always be conflict. The only difference will be in the scale and destruction. What you are trying to do here is... I understand that. As long as the individual exists, fighting will remain only cycle growth. But that will come to an end one day. With a larger perspective, broader wisdom, and a longer lifespan in which to learn and grow, humanity will be sure to reach the next cycle. That's right. You will all be able to break the chains that humanity thus far could not. From here on, humans will no longer need to make gods to save them. Everyone will be a god capable of saving everyone else. I mean, it's a great idea, but... There's gotta be a downside. That being said, some things will certainly be lost in service to the greater good. Its revolution will be limited to humanity on Earth as it exists right now. I don't have the power to bring back the people from proper human history. Once Atlas's texture covers the Earth, proper human history will be gone forever. Well and truly lost. And that's the kicker. After all, it will no longer have any place to return to, just like the foreign god cannot occupy the tree of emptiness with Atlas keeping him away. Well, but then... Then your plan is essentially the same, but as the foreign gods. It's not any different from having Earth wipe Earth clean. What do you think, Sol? Don't you agree that my plan has merit? Yes, definitely under different circumstances, it'd be incredible. But, yeah, what you're doing is no different. You're wrong there, Sol. I may not be in my place to say something, but as the but since I'm the Elder Master, let me give you some advice. Now that you've seen this Lost Belts for yourself, you know they're no different from proper human history. They are, all have the same goals. Unify humanity, make full use of Earth, and keep the world alive. But the foreign god is different. They don't care about the Earth or humanity. You might be wondering what they bleached the world to then. And then you and right you would and you'd be right to. Think back to Goetia. He didn't incinerate humanity, simply destroy it, not really. It was only a side effect of his true goal. The same holds true for the foreign god. It seems the foreign god has taken measures to deal with me. I suppose it only makes sense that they would seek to end my life since they can't touch the tree of emptiness. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid none of you have a choice. I'm going to use the tree of emptiness atlas to revolutionize the world before the foreign god can break our contract. What you do next is up to you, soul, mash. You can choose this revolution and bring it and its bright future, a future where god of gods where everyone is happy. Or you can choose proper human history in all its bleakness, with its myriad of problems and dead ends. But be warned, if you try to interfere, I will show you no mercy. This is my Grand Order. It is the ideal I have fought for through my entire life. If you wish to stand in the way, then you must fight with all the strength you possess. This planet's future rests upon the outcome of this battle. If you think you can choose a greater future than I... If you believe you are strong enough for me to entrust you with the Dream of Emptiness, then prove it. I am Kirstaria Wudame. As a cryptor, I denounce proper human history. I am an enemy of Chaldea and by extension you. And I am the leader of Team A, who fought to protect humanity. All right. Formation restricted. We can have anybody. Okay. Uh, okay. Zariel. You are going to be a massively massive help. Mash needs to be in the start. That is perfectly fine. You're a caster. Wotame. That means that you are going to have all the caster faults. Which means... It's time to bring in the biggest gun I have for anti-caster measures. Melt. Melt will get the K-scope from Mashu. And we'll have... Waver in the back line just in case. Alright, here we go. Krishtaria. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Grand battle. He's less... He's... Stars. Cosmos. Gods. Animus. Antrum. Unbirth. Anima. Animosphere. <laughs> Atlas promised double charge. Conceptual armament. True. Aegis. Atlas contract. Negate the defense disadvantage due to class affinity and gain resistance to critical attacks and the divine trait does not get applied. Orleans Trench. Nullify debuffs for three times. Septum's Evening. Gain resistance to critical attacks. Three left. 
Okeanos Toast. HP recovery attacks would sustain... HP recovery effect uh, activates when sustaining NP effect attacks. Three left. Lendenima Um's Demise. Low chance to decrease your charge by one at the end of turn. Wasteland's Bonfire. Low chance to remove a single enemy's buff during a normal attack. Jerusalem's Record. Mesopotamia's Record. Okay. Overcharged X2. Don't know what that's about, but we need to bring in Melt. He might gain benefits from his NPs, but this is fine. Melt has more than enough oomph to push through. Okay. He's debuff immune, that's right. Well, let's cleanse those debuff immunes then. Um, I need to save Melt Virus. Melt's unfortunately not going to be doing as much damage since no class is a damage, but she is, without a doubt, my strongest servant. Ooh, that's the crit thing. Okay. You son of a bitch, Kirstaria. You fucking son of a bitch. Indeed, just like the fucking Goetia fight. One million damage! Uh... Fuck. Okay. You're no longer diva for me and Kirstaria. I I'm stunning you just because I don't want you to do that again to me. Thank you. Thank you for being stunned, Kirstaria. Your your stun will be remembered. Overcharge X2 makes it so that the, turn, the cooldown decreases by 2 every turn. I mean, that's not that useful. That is unfortunately not that useful. Um, you know, I should probably do this on Siliri as well. Pop him off. He doesn't do... Re okay, that's a relief. That's actually a very, very big relief. Uh, how many more crit defenses does he have? One more. First bar down. Let's take a little break. What just happened? I, I didn't see. What did he just do? That happened way too fast for me to spot. Can somebody tell me what he just did? I honestly did not see it. It went, it went by in a flash. Um, in the meantime, I need to start getting defenses up. Seriously, can somebody please tell me what he did? I really need to know. God does not trickle. What does that do? Before inflicting damage for attacks, decrease your attacks. So, Waver is now nerfed. Oh, 
You didn't look, so you don't know? Fair. Completely fair. Uh... He still has the resistance to critical attacks, unfortunately, but I'm still going to use Black Barrel. If it's going to come up often, then I'm going to use it often as I can. He's about to Anima Enemy Sphere me. Oh, you bastard. You removed my buffs. Oh, it's my skills, not my servants. Son of a bitch. Uh, invincibility and Lord Mold Camelot, please. Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. He does, though. He has involved Pierce. That's only on reloading humanity. Well, I'm I'm mash soloing Kerstaria then. Waver somehow lived, but he's gonna die here. Waver, you magnificent bastard! How you live how you lived, I do not know, but I will gladly take your life. As in, you know, take you living. Mash has more than one guts. That'll be useful if that's the case. Uh do this. Stun him for a turn, please. What do you mean, no effect? He has... Did his break bar refresh all of his shit? I think his break bar refreshed all of his shit. That sucks horribly. That like massively sucks. Um, how many debuff immunes does he have? Two. I would. I can't even debuff him. I can't stun him. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised Waver's hanging on like he is as well. He is quite the trooper. Um, and he'll live another turn. Because that is what I say. Waver lives for as long as he can. If he can get another round of buffs off, that would be amazing. Please. All of his overworking, possibly. No crit. But that would have been a crit. And I lost my buffs. Shit. There he finally goes. Waver has finally bit the dust. Now, Mashu, please, for the love of everything, survive. Do not break your guts, Mashu. 
Lord Camelot, please come back somehow. Let let this mold Camelot just evolve into Lord Camelot somehow. Please, game, please. Also, I don't think his um self charge minus has popped once. Let me say. Oh, that's some defense from Mashu! Mashu has best defense. Ignore the damage she just took. She has best defense. Confirmed. Just keep getting those mold camelots up as much as I can. I think he's lost his crit defense. Oh, that. Kershtaria. Kershtar, you ass. Mm. God, I think the... I'm pretty sure the foam... No, Mash Melt has the debuff removal. Damn it, Kershtaria. I could break him. Maybe. Breaking him's no longer a guarantee now. I gotta try. I will shatter you. You said he wouldn't do it again! You guys said he wouldn't do this again! Fuck. Mm. Okay. I need to commence- I need to heal. That's literally the only thing I can do. I need to heal. If I don't heal, I'm screwed. Quite literally, honestly. You just want to be a god, Mordred. That's why you're cheering for Kristaria. You want to be like a god. The attack downs are... Oh, you... Kirstaria, you bastard. I I need to start... I need to start getting rid of that debuff immunity of his. If I don't get rid of that, I'm... I'm screwed. What did you just do? He just did something. I don't know what he did. I didn't I didn't see what he did. Uh god, I got to think. I need to NP. I am a dragon. But he's beaten gods. Let's be honest. 
Okay, he's not charging this turn. That's good, at least. Oh, come on. Now the charge. Now it procs. When I'm... <clears throat> when I'm not ready for it procced is when it procs. Of course! I guess you're right. I mean, you're certainly not wrong, so... Okay, is he just not going to NP again? Like, seriously. Is he seriously not going to NP again? That's twice in a row. I'm so glad I have not blown the load on Mash's invincibility soon. Or too early, rather. Oh, screw that god does not trickle thing. Oh, screw you, Kershaw, with your buff removal. Screw you with your buff removal right now. Be a... AQ. Need the heal. Oh, this is going to be a pain. We survived this one. Oh, you, you do the charge debuff on him. When he's already got no charge, that makes perfect sense, game. Absolute perfect sense. No, he doesn't nearly have me. This is going to be a fucking stall fight at this rate. I'm pretty sure Mash's Invince... Yeah, Mash's Invince should come up as often as his NP does, so long as he does not charge himself. As long as he does not give himself charge, this will be a drawn-out fight. How many more? He's got one more crit resistance. Um, you cursed him to death. Well, I, I unfortunately can't do that myself, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate his occasional buff removals. I truly, truly do. Those buff removals are going to be the death of me at this rate. I think what I need to do is I need to try and have an NP ready just in case to survive the attack. Lots of people do. Um, Robin Hood does. Shootin does. Um, son of a bitch, Kerstaria. Can you stop removing my buffs for 10 seconds? What are these odds that he's removing my buff Every single time. Also, I just realized I'm fucked. I don't have an invincibility to survive next turn. I think I'm fucked. Unless a Lord, a Mold Camelot is gonna be enough, I think I might be screwed.
Please be enough. Well, this is the last thing I have to do because my food is. We're having ribs for dinner, and I don't want to miss my ribs. I don't. So, this is going to be the last thing I do on stream, essentially, is kick Kershtari's butt and hope that there's no story segments af immediately after this fight. Please don't let there be. Oh, uh, that still is a hit. Kershtaria. Do you know the meaning of stop removing my buffs? Is that concept too hard for you, man? Because it's really simple. You, you just stop removing my buffs. And stop debuffing me at the same time. He doesn't have his crit defenses anymore, I've, I now see. So that's something. I was really hoping that Buster would crit. Really, really was hoping that would crit. I am... I was very close to just flipping Kirstari the bird there. But that would have meant flipping all of you the bird. And I don't want to flip all you guys the bird. You guys are all cool. Mash is doing... Mash is doing two solos in this Lost Belt to make up for the fact that um, she couldn't solo a beast. So she's putting in the work. I hate that debuff. I seriously hate that fucking debuff. It's so annoying. He's not removing my buffs, so there's that. Um... He was not alive long enough to get off an NP. No, he got it off once and it did nothing. Because he had his debuff immunity. <sighs> Invents. Black Barrel. BAQ. I'm doing no damage now. Kirstaria, stop. Please. Please stop with the buff removal. And stop debuffing me with attack down, man. Like, seriously. I'm gonna beat you at this rate. You're just forestalling the inevitable, so just, just, just lay down and die. Or rather, lay down and be defeated, because you have good intentions. You, you just got the, you're following the wrong path, Kristaria. Follow me, and we can lead you back to the right path, where you're not gonna have to wipe all of humanity clear to make us all into gods. 
Because, I mean, outside of the whole wipe humanity clean thing, it's a good plan, you know? It has its issues, yes, but those can be overcome with some troubleshooting, you know? It's the Syndrome plan. I'm gonna risk it. And there we go! Kershtaria Wudame is defeated. Finally. Did not take as long as Zeus did, mind you. Only a couple of turns shorter, to be fair. But we did it. We beat Kerstaria. And with that, there's still more story to go. I see. So this is the master you raised, Doctor. I feel as though I'm going to be blinded. I feel as though my heart is going to burst. I was never too worried about what might happen if I collapsed along the way or if I lost my way altogether. Because I trusted David would be there to carry on where I left off. But amazingly, it looks like there was yet another candidate stronger than me all along. He's acknowledging our strength, at least. That was for Atlantis. Indeed, you put up an incredible fight, Sol. It can fairly be said you've defeated me. Of course, that doesn't change the fact that you, like me, are so utterly spent that you can no longer stand. So you accept your defeat? Does that mean you're going to shut down Atlas? I can't do that. At this point, not even my death will cause Atlas to stop. I'm afraid you're going to become new gods, whether you want to or not. For that, I am truly sorry. But once you have, once you have you're free to use the Tree of Emptiness however you see fit. There may not be a way to defeat them now, but once your senses have been heightened, God, heightened to godly levels, I'm sure you'll eventually find a way to stop the foreign gods' plan as we... What's about to happen? The sky's burning. No, it's not the sky. It's the tree of emptiness's branches. Mash, soul, get back. It's not safe. The branches stretching across the sky are setting fire. The tree of emptiness. No, not chaos again. What's going on? Please, not chaos again. How is this happening? Nothing should be able to burn a fully grown tree of emptiness from the outside. I know, that's why I burn it from the inside. I burned down another tree of emptiness right from its roots and use its branches to spread our wildfire to your tree. Burn down another tree of emptiness right from its roots and use its branches to spread our wildfire to your tree. You said the tree's branches formed a network, right? So I used them to deliver a little viral payload. Barrel! You. Damn, seriously? Have you actually got eyes on the back of your head, Wudame? I could say the same to you, Beryl. I thought you would be more careful than this. Even if you had managed to kill me now, the Chaldeans are still alive and well. So I have a hard time imagining how you could make it out of here without a servant. Well, damn, aren't you, Mr. Kaltman Collected. You figure out I was all kinds of eager to get my back sitting on or something? Not until just now, no. To be honest, I'm still a little shaken. You have no reason to betray me, Beryl. Why are you interfering with my plan now? Don't you understand that this will make you a god, too? Once you are, you'll be free from the foreign god's control. Oh, I already hate him. He, he, he creeped on Mashu. You know, and if it wasn't for, Oma, for Romani, who knows what he would have done. So Beryl's already on my shit list. You really don't get it, do you? Figures, of course you wouldn't. So hey, on a different subject, Kirsch, why are you so scared of the British Lost Belt? It's not like you ever came by to see it for yourself, right? So how'd you know something had to be done about it? Because I spent a while thinking on it. And realize it poses a different but equally serious threat as the foreign god themselves. No good could ever come from a lost belt appearing in Britain. It could only be a curse that would take the very planet down with it. Damn, seriously, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds like a hell of a thing. They're definitely a scary bunch, but that's for damn sure. But hey, that's what made it this all worthwhile. So as thanks, I'll let you in on a little secret of my own. I'll tell you why I came to your lost belt. You remember what I told you before about how I betrayed the fate folk, right? Well, thanks to that, they've got it out for me real bad. In fact, all I'd have to do is raise my voice a bit and say, here I am, and they'd bring divine retribution down on my ass just like that. Macarius Adele. 
Oh, good, so you know what's coming then. Awesome. Well, so long, Wudame. It's been real. Mash Soul, get out of here. He's going to protect us. ICBM. Wait. Ronco Miniad? Sure, it's right. We need to evacuate immediately. Then again, the cure here is so immense that everyone this way, I can at least let you all escape to the crown. So you will never make it in time, especially given that we're all still exhausted from our earlier battles. Queen Europa can most likely only manipulate gravity and offer physical protection. It won't nearly be enough. Rongo. The Lion King? The Lion King. Then again, even if you're able to teleport to Olympus proper, that light is going to punch straight through everything in its path. No, this isn't over yet. Kerstaria fighting Rongo with Meteor Power. That's not a meat. That's a shield. A shield of stars? I won't let this happen. I can't let their journey end now. No. Well, I guess you get to die after all. Especially since you're vulnerable as shit right now. Barrel, you bastard. Want to know why you lost, Widomay? It's because you were too damn busy. You never would have been so stupid as to let me handle Britain if you saw seen it for yourself. You know, originally I was just going to burn this tree of emptiness down and head back to Britain. But after that bullshit speech you made, I'm pretty sure I had no choice but to shiv your sorry ass. What was it you said? Everyone will be like God unto themselves. That basically means it'll be a world where I couldn't kill anyone anymore, right? To hell with that, I'd die of boredom before the end of the first day in the new world. I don't want to be some great enlightened version of myself. I'm perfectly okay with staying a piece of shit. Barrel, you fucking bastard. Oh, man. I cannot wait to see how this continues tomorrow. I'm going to do a tomorrow stream to finish this lost belt off. But that is another section down. And damn, was it a section. I cannot wait to finish this lost belt. But I'm starving. I'm starting to get shaky from hunger so i need to finish this off here it'll all go on youtube eventually j6 for now though i have been solar act dragon i hope you've enjoyed this epic stream of the lost belt if you have leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit and if you check out more by me be sure to drop me a follow sub or like doesn't matter which it will be greatly greatly appreciated thank you all so much for coming out i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you tomorrow for the finale of The Lost Belt. Have a fantastic evening, everybody.